going on everybody? This is Jen coming at you on DTWJ represent NJ all day. I ended up watching this video and what I gotta say is first off I have had a lot of criticism not just over the internet but face to face people telling me that I should get the fuck to the point and I'm like okay I understand that but a minute and 48 seconds since watching this chick's video I was like when is she gonna... I can't! You don't know. And she got more views than me. But I do want to speak on the same topic. Okay? About bisexuality. I do. I do. I really do. I don't exactly really like to talk on... Uh, touch on this that much. Because there are a lot of ignoramuses that fucking peeve me off. Even though I don't let them know. You know, in her video, she says, you know, people are well-meaning. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't kiss ass. People piss me off, um, and I just choose to ignore it. So uh, I'll just say what I got to say in this video about bisexuality, okay? Um, like she says, number one, and first off, it is not a myth. Most definitely not a myth, okay? It is not a myth to be able to be attracted to the same sex and the opposite sex at the same time or interchangeably. I'm going on a minute 35. Bam! Hit it. Oh, and I got to the point too. Ho! I like it. I know how to score. How you doing? Anyway, the things that I gotta say about this, okay, are that, okay, we're not a myth. But we're not exactly like uh, what people want us to be. And the problem is, is that people make up so much shit about us in their heads. It's unfucking real. Literally unfreaking real. Okay, I get things like, how do you guys have sex? Do you really want to go there, dude? With a male or a female, man, pick one, pick one, pick one, pick one, because I can answer both. Um, how do you like to dress most often? I get that. <laughs> I dress according to my fucking mood, bitch. And my mood is right now. Anyway. <laughs> a lot of the time, even when, like, I'm not out at clubs or at bars... And I'm just like walking down the street. I could be dressed up to the nines. Like, you know, I could be femmed up all kinds. Okay. Dressed up to the nines. And people would be like, yo, she a lesbian? She a lesbian? She a lesbian? Why? Because I express myself? Because I have a sense of humor? And I don't think that having a sense of humor is slutty? <laughs> yeah. Um... Something that lesbians, some lesbians, not all, have a problem with. They think that, you know, if you have a sense of humor, you're kind of slutty. The lesbians and straight men kind of on that. They're like, if she's got a certain kind of sense of humor, she might, she just might be slutty. And I might just look at that and say, you might not be smarter than a fifth grader. Anyway, next, I get questions like, which do you prefer? <laughs> do you prefer the male or do you prefer the female? And I said, you know what, sir? I don't give a damn what kind of sack it ransacks in as long as it's clean. Thank you. Have a nice day. No, but seriously, um, I really have no preference as far as that goes. If I did have a preference, my sexuality would only be a preference, not my identity and who I am. Uh, not the thing that I was born with. I was born bisexual, okay? Maybe something that you can't understand. It's my personality. It's who the frig I am. It's the reason why I can take noogies like nobody else. Uh, it's the reason why I could probably beat the shit out of my eldest brother. It's probably the reason why... Um, I could still lady it up and look damn good doing it. By the way, I need to fix my hair and my makeup and my nails and shit, bitch. I gotta look good. You know? That's the thing. I cannot pick between the two ever, ever. I cannot be pick between the male or the female. Okay. 
in any relationship that I am in, okay, I see that person as my equal. And I expect, yes, expect, to be respected exactly the same. If I'm not respected as much of an equal as you are, bitch, I am out. Like, it's out of there! It's a Hummer! Yeah, like, seriously. I don't need no damn shoes. I'd be doing that barefoot. <laughs> it's all good. And my wedding dress, too. I didn't say tux, bitches. I said dress. There are so many misconceptions about bisexuals, and it's a damn shame that they exist. But what the worst part is, is that there are so many bisexual men who are out there who are dealing with a lot more misconceptions than bisexual women. And I think that, you know, we need to look out for them, help them to step up because, uh, yeah, they can step up all by themselves like nobody's business, just like we do. I get that. But you got to understand something. You can't do something by yourself. You got to have a team behind you who actually gives a fuck about you. And I happen to give a damn. So... <laughs> If you're a bisexual brother of mine, stop that man. Let me know who you are. Because I'll be right there with you. You don't fucking know. I will be right there with you. Um, yes. I don't know what else I have to say to debunk some shit. I'm not even trying to debunk shit. I'm just trying to express myself. <laughs> That's the funny part. Uh, have you ever been in fights? Yeah, totally. Uh, like my whole life since elementary school. Boys and girls. And believe it or not, boys and girls up until high school. Even in high school, I had boys coming at me and I had to fuck their asses up. Ain't that some shit? I got fucked up too. You win some, you lose some. Shit happens. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> That don't sound fucking butch at all, right? Nah, of course not. I still dress up in to the nines like, I am fucking Miss Princess Beautiful up in this bitch you don't know. Believe me, I still have the dress. A crushed, a crushed velvet dress. A black crushed velvet dress with the lacing. Okay, I used to wear that shit when I was skinny as hell. With no bra. Reason why is because the back, well, is open. You cannot wear a bra with an open back dress, okay? Because that is tacky. That is just damn nasty and disgusting looking. So you may as well just rock that shit all new, all natural and just be cool with that, okay? That's what the fuck I did. And I look damn good doing it, too. All right, so I went from a size 6 to a size 12. I'll whip it out and try it on sometime and see how that shit works for me. If it doesn't, I'll be really disappointed because uh, I love that dress. You don't know. <sighs> okay. I think I've expressed myself enough today. <laughs> um, so tell me what it's like to be bisexual. Look forward to hearing it. This has been Jack catching you on DTWJ. Keep it real as always. Don't forget to subscribe.